Won them all by a total of 10 points. Hey, Steven Jackson. Oh, I, you know I love five, that. Zach. Three. Yeah, he's on the list too, Ernie. Oh, that'd be a true. Oh, okay, first dunk of the Steph. season. That's the first dunk of the season? That's his first dunk of the season? Uh huh. Yeah, right, Chef. Oh, you just made that up. You don't oh, have that number. Let's make it up. I'll I tell you what, man, this Sacramento team, they're young and talented. I just hope they can keep it together. How about Marvin Bagley, the third? Yeah, he's playing. 28 on the night. I'm, I told y'all, the Sacramento Kings are going to the playoffs this year. I guarantee. Oh, he put that up our area? That's a, that was on the same note as the oh. Lakers won't make it. I'm with you on that. He job. makes it look. Stafford. And then Kevin Durant. Mm, but. 10 0 Golden State run. But at the half, Sacramento was up 62 to 60. And that's Ogden Bogdanovich oh. taking uh -oh. Kevin Durant. I love that kid right there. Oh, you better. Steph's going up top. He's oh. got Andre Iguodala. Yeah, I just don't think you can beat the Golden State at any point. Oh, guys, you get this one in oh. your face. I don't think you can beat them at any point with, when they're getting 120 points. Durant. Possible. With well, I don't think anybody three. can beat them. Well, to win a games against them, you got to you gotta keep them in that 110 range. Oh, that's going to be difficult to do. That's my point, though. Oh, Bagley. Oh, he didn't say it was easy. Yeah. Bang it home. That, that oh, does not count. Yeah, yeah. Don't can't bang, bang it. Man. <laughs> oh, bang he called this one. Steph again. Steph again. He had 36. Man. He's not even in MVP race. Uh, yes, saying. Oh, How about God. this to Willie Cauley Stein? I'll tell you what, I got a chance to meet DeAndre Fox parents. Really nice people. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. What? Yeah. Uh, no, De'Aaron was yeah. it? Uh, well, yeah. We called him DeAndre, but it's. Okay, serious. you know what I meant, hell. He I'm makes it look. Steph is. First of all, there's people at home saying, who this? Oh, is oh, DeAndre great. What, what? First of all, uh, De'Aaron a real name? Oh, no. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good block, by Clay Thompson. Why don't you name one of your kids De'Aaron? I already named him. All right, this, this is Riley. where it comes in, but this was a good play by oh, nice. Fox. You know, fooling. Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill kept him in the game, and this almost got him back in the game, but Andre Iguodala comes up with the steal. I mean, with the, the out ball, misses both free throws. Oh, I didn't like I would have shot the three. I would have went for the win. I would have shot the three, too. I would have went for the win if I was Sacramento. We're trying to get in the playoff. We're not trying to get to overtime. Dave, Dave got to call a three-point play out of that right there. Instead, he goes into the paint, throws up the air ball, and Sacramento comes up two points short. So four losses by a total of 12 points against the reigning champions for Sacramento. 125-123, the final score. How about your, how about your uh, Portland Trailblazers? Ernie? Yes. They're my sleeper team in the West. I love them getting. When you say oh, sleeper, what are they going to do? Cantor, you like the Ennis I You know, I'm a big Ennis Cantor fan. Ooh, look at and uh, who else? They got another guy. Um, What's up? Rodney, Rodney Hood. Rodney Hood. Oh, who does do? I like Rodney Jake Hood. Layman, Ennis man. Layman. Who is he, Kenny? Oh, just Jake, just, he been balling. He, all right. But I'm telling you, Alan Crabs, do not that. sleep on the Portland Trailblazers. I love their two additions. There's your three-point champion with the reverse oh, of Joe Harris. That's a tough team, Brooklyn, man. 50-50 game at the half. I'm telling you, this guy, I don't understand why people don't like Ennis Cantor. Because he can't play defense. That's well, right. uh, first of all, there's been some great players who can't play, play defense. Oh, yeah, you. Oh, look, I mean, you weren't no great defender. You just big. Portland tied a season high with 66 hey, points. Hey, Kenny, what did that eight. one guy tell us about Tyson Chandler, one oh. of my favorite players? Oh, we don't like him because all he does is rebound and run. I'm like, well, rebound and play <laughs> defense. I'm like, well, what else you want your power forward to do? Oh. Boom. Shabazz Napier. Yes. Tyson Chandler, one of my favorite players. And I, I, I'm Cantor's my guy. Oh, go oh, who that? that? Oh, yes. North Carolina. Ed Davis, Ed 15 Davis. points, 10 rebounds, 12 nothing run for the net. Oh, but he gonna get that in his eye right there. Mm. Hey, Lillard. Lillard. Time. Lillard just it's five time. for 21 from the floor. Oh, oh. my God. Yusuf. I'm Turkish. telling y'all, man. At 27 and 12. Where they at right now, Portland? Tied his season out there, number four in the West. Okay. Uh, They're going to be at home in the playoffs the first round, Jack. Maybe. You might, do you think they can sneak the three? Uh, they might can get, let me take a look at 113, it. we're going to look at the standings here in just a second. Okay. 113 to 99. 18 debut. Okay. The Blazers. He, 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 yeah. In only 20 minutes. Yeah. Under 20 minutes, he gets 18 points and nine rebounds. Well, all right, it, it, it said 20 minutes. Right, don't oh, it's correct a, me no, again. I'm just looking at it right there. I'm just looking at it. Stop, stop, yo, be easy with our hey, hey, hey. Okay, here, here like are your Western Conference standings, Chuckster. Um, so Golden State wins tonight. Ooh. Portland wins tonight. I'm still Houston. with them Nuggets, brother. Houston tied in the loss column now with Utah with those 25 losses. Clippers in the number eight spot. Sacramento. 
nine and the Lakers ten. And you say Sacramento gets in and the Lakers do not. And you've already said the Clippers aren't going to make it. Correct? Only one can make it. I'm going with the Sacramento Kings. You buying that on the Sacramento Kings, Shaq? Yeah, they, they they play. You know, they play hard or they play together. Still kind of young for me. Like Buddy Hill should have shot the three. You go for the win. He took a dribble into the defense, tried to spin, take a difficult shot. At best. Draw and kick, kick to somebody for the win. Ernie, the one. Of but other than that, you know, uh, yes, I do believe that. One of the reasons I. LeBron. I wonder how he's going to hold up, for the rest of the season. He had to play fantastic every night, every night, and people. He's used to that. Yeah, but it's, it, if he's getting older, the Western Conference is so much better than the Eastern Conference. They got one of the toughest schedules down the stretch. They're. Uh, uh, so sadly, other than my Phoenix Suns, there are no easy games in the Western Conference anymore. My Phoenix. And now maybe New Orleans. And New Orleans, yeah. New Orleans, on, they, they on spring break. One, two, three, one, two, three Cancun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Especially but those are the Anthony only Davis two easy games. Memphis doesn't really scare you. Uh, Memphis is also good, Paul. My bad. I'm but no, no, they play hard, though. They, they play, play hard yeah, in They Memphis. play hard, but that's like, you know what that means. No. <laughs> <laughs> play hard. <laughs> I would say, you know, with New Orleans, with the, the, the announcement that Anthony was only going to play 25 minutes, that, that solidifies and stamps home and says, that's 25 it. 25 minutes a night. No, oh, 25 it. minutes the rest of the season. <laughs> I think the NBA. <laughs> 25 uh, minutes a night, yes. Uh, Ernie, I think. Good the, point, Ernie. <laughs> but you know what I would do? You know, Duly this is, noted. This is what I. No, no, if, Ernie. If you Ernie, were playing a guy, I was, I was saying this before. If you were playing a guy only 25 minutes a night, not, not just Anthony Davis' situation, but in, in that situation and many others, and let's say injury. Why won't you just play him the whole second half? So they don't come in, you know, so because you're trying to win in the second half. You're not trying to win, though. No, but I'm win. saying if, to win. in general, They're not, not just Anthony to win, Davis. So there is no in general. I think not just Anthony Davis, but in general, I would play the guy 25 minutes. If, he's, if they are limit minute restrictions, yeah, okay, no, I would I play them all in the second half. But I'm saying, Kenny, they're not trying to win. But let me make this one point. I think the NBA should come in and say, that's not fair to our fans. It's not fair to Anthony Davis. Let's just not play him. And, and still pay him. And, yes. Because. No. Well, how's that fair to the fans? No. If you're how's not that hurt, you got to play. It's not, first of all, there's no fairness to anybody in this situation. Well, they're, they're, no, but you're saying you play him 25 minutes. That's not fair to the fans. Yeah, I, was, listen, I was not playing but, him fair to the but fans. But I'm saying, there's no winners in this. But the, the NBA loses. The Pelican loses. And Anthony Davis is losing. That's all I'm saying. But Chuck, just because the business of basketball didn't go his way, if he's not hurt, he got to play. But if you're only going to play him 25 minutes, you're not trying to win but, anyway. But my point being, that's a, good that's, point. A, that's a great point because still, we, we did talk play. about teams that are tanking. And that is, a, that is not a, that is, I don't know if it's illegal. What does Ill, that mean? Trying like to you're lose trying to lose games. Points so in. when you say you No, play, no, no, just, try, like, just not trying There's, to win. Just like you cannot Point put in. a false report. No. <laughs> you can't put a false report of a guy being injured and he's not injured. You have to have an actual excuse. That's an NBA rule. Oh. I think an NBA rule, if, a, you, if you come out with a... You can't put a false report of saying someone is hurt and they're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you say, Chuck? <laughs> uh, no, see. Bogus. I just cannot put up a false report. Well, you know what? True <laughs> words. True <laughs> words have never been said. Okay. Looks to me like a good time to take a break. Oh, oh man. Oh, my. I tell you what, though, okay, man. All right. Yeah. There must be some good damn sandwiches at Subway. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna go out there at 3, 4 in the morning to get them. Go grab me. Ooh, Chad, what they got on them what sandwiches? What are supposed to do with them now? Chad, what's <laughs> on them sandwiches? Bologna? <laughs> Bologna. Bologna, government? It's all the college teams if you're gonna watch the game. Uh, so we watched Zion oh. Williamson last night blow out the left shoe and then yeah. sprain his right knee. What kind of shoes are 36 those? seconds into those Paul George shoes. Well, you know what? I, I, yeah. Listen, man. So there have been all kind of there's been all kind of talk today. There have been fo certainly folks who have said he should uh, he should not play anymore. He should just uh, you know the NBA is the next step. So shut it down. How do you respond when you hear that? I think he should play, but make the, the decision that's best for him and his family. First of all, I'm looking at those shoes. They look like old shoes. All you youngsters out there, don't play in old shoes. If you have the ability to get new shoes every time, play them. Because when they get old, they get wet, they get moldy. 
And rumor is that, you know, those shoes are a couple weeks old. But No, a couple uh, months old. Yeah, 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 a couple months old. But listen, he, he has to do what's best for his family. I don't know if his intentions are to come out this year and go pro, but if they are, you, you, look, you have to, you know, talk to your mom, talk to your dad, talk to your advisor, and do what's best for you. However, if that was me, I would play. Well, let me say this. Number one, I hate the people... And I don't like using the word. I hate the people who are trying to talk about Nike. Yes, I'm on Nike's payroll. We don't have no problem with our shoes. We have had the best shoes ever. This was a fluke thing, or our shoes would do that all the time. You know, the rumor now is he's been playing the same pair of basketball shoes all year. You don't do that. I used to switch up every week. I know Shaq, we talked about it. I know Michael Jordan. They play the new shoes every game. Uh, I, let, I, I would play a week, and that was it. But I trust Nike shoes. That being said, when did we ever get to the point where all people care about is money? Shaq played college for two years. Three. Three. Kenny played for four. I played for three. Michael Jordan played for three. Tim Duncan played for four. David Robinson played for four. Some of the greatest players ever. Wilt Chamberlain, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson played. When did we get to the point where you got clowns on television saying, oh, don't play? That's what you do, Ernie. That's what we do. We play basketball. I mean, I, I, I don't ever want to see anybody get hurt. This kid looks like he's going to be a fantastic player. But I get so mad when people like act like money is the only thing that matters in the world. Like, oh, dude, you're going to go in the NBA. Don't play. I mean, that's ridiculous. Ernie, I remember well, when I was getting ready to come out. You remember my, you all remember my father. I wanted to come out my sophomore year. He said, why do you want to come out? I said, I think it's time to go get money. He said, you've been broke for 18 years. You could be broke for 19 years. You ain't ready. So, well, you know, if you can wait an extra 365 days and better your game, better yourself, I think you should do that. Well, uh, first, before I even get that, congratulations to North Carolina because they had a game plan to still win a basketball game. So we can't dismiss that, that they went into a tough place to play and win. I'm not going to dismiss that. Secondly... You know, because they have two other pr- pr- really top five players on their team. They're, that yeah. Barry Kidd and, and Reddish, without question, they're going to be top five players. They are extremely good team. Uh, but for me, watching um, as a young man coming in, what these, these questions are being raised only because of now there's been a heightened awareness about the NCAA and, and not paying college basketball players. And, and, and because of the, the stakes, you know, when we were in college and you and I, the, the amount of television revenue was nowhere near where it is now. So now so people are saying, well, if everyone else is making all this money and you're not making anything, why are you still playing in, a, in that environment when you now have put yourself in position to be number one? So that's why the questions arise. I understand why they arise. Now, if I'm Zion with, my, my main goal is I'm using, I'm using this as a platform. Is this platform now helping me or going to hinder me? And if it's going to hinder me, yes, I am a basketball player. You ask any guy, he's going to want to play. But if it's going to hinder him at any point, if he is really hurt, he should not play because he has solidified himself as a top two, three pick. He shouldn't. But if he is healthy enough to play, he's only going to raise his stock because he is one of the best players in college basketball. He's going to get a bigger shoe deal. He's going to get more endorsements, and more people are going to follow him and want to be part Let of what he is. Let me make this final one point. Ernie, what bothers me the most, I never want to be selfish when I try to make a point on television. Me, Kenny, and Shaq have made a great living because of basketball. We probably could have went pro right out of high school. But we only talking about a certain small percentage. And everybody bashes the NCAA, and they're not perfect. But they get more people education than guys go to the NBA. There's a little over, that's like 400 and some players in the NBA. 99.9% of players who go to college have to get a free education. And the guys on television who are all great players or good players, they don't need their education. So they're like, this kid don't need his education. He probably don't need his education. But I never worry about Shaq. When you say don't need it, meaning in what way? He ain't gonna never need his education. 
I he, disagree with that, well, but yeah, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't. I mean, he's he's not, at that. this point in his it, life, his education right, yeah, is right right not going to it's yeah. not going to equal the value that he has as a basketball. That, that's the point I'm trying to make. Like, listen, I didn't get my college degree, but I'm good. But I'm saying the guys on television who played in the NBA, they're jaded. They, but I don't worry about the guys who are great at sports. I worry about the rest of the kids who really got to go out in the real world and get a job. And like I say, the system is not perfect, but... The guys on television, myself included, and I don't think like that, all they talk about is, well, these kids should be able to get to this money as soon as possible. That's because you're going to get the money. But what if you want these other kids who really need your college education to be successful in life? That's my only problem. Zion Williamson. So I think we all agree.